And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from Kenya, the home to the last northern white rhinos of our planet. Now, scientists from a multinational biorescue project say they are on the brink of a major breakthrough that could reverse what appears to be the imminent extinction of these northern white rhinos. Our next story gets you all the details. Najin and Fatu, this mother-daughter duo is the last of the world's northern white rhinos. They are too old to bear pregnancy and often get too sick to even eat their regular meals. After Najin and Fatu, the northern white rhino could join the ranks of the dodo and Tasmanian wolf to never be seen on earth ever again. The northern white rhinos once ruled the grasslands of central and northern Africa. But decades of hunting for their coveted horns has reduced their number to just two in one country, Kenya, where they live under armed protection 24-7. But thousands of kilometres away in Germany, scientists are brimming with confidence that Najin and Fatu will not go down in history as the world's last northern white rhinos. They claim to have successfully tested an in vitro fertilization method which holds the promise to increase their number from two to a few and from few to many. We also have uh, given the proof that the embryo transfer uh, of a uh, lab-produced embryo in a southern white rhino worked. So we produced a proven pregnancy in Africa with an embryo which was generated here in Europe with European parents. And this embryo go to a nice little rhino. Southern white rhinos are a subspecies of northern white rhinos. There are 20,000 of them in Africa. Yet not long ago, they were thought to be extinct. But in 1895, a small population of around 100 southern white rhinos was discovered in South Africa. Thanks to conservation efforts, the southern white rhinos bounced back from that cliff of extinction and returned to their grassland glory. Scientists in this lab are upbeat that their efforts will push northern white rhinos back to their wild African splendor as well. They are set to implant a northern white rhino embryo inside a southern white rhino surrogate mother. The first embryo transfer could happen as early as this year. And if things go as per plan, northern white rhinos could be released into the wild in 20 years' time. Today we stand here and can say we have 33 northern white rhino embryos, pure northern white rhino embryos. And these embryos derived from two different fathers. So that is uh, really, really good news because uh, the quality of these embryos is excellent. And that means uh, we may have 10, 15 offspring out of these uh, embryos when we start with the embryo transfer program. Far away from Berlin, here in Kenya's Olpejeta Conservancy, the caretaker of the last northern white rhinos is also bracing for what looks like a likely scientific breakthrough. Can I assure you is that uh, last year we had to conduct an experiment of a southern white rhino embryo and it was successful. So that gives us more hope that we can still bring the northern white rhinos back from extinction. The only possible stumble in this race to save northern white rhinos could be a lack of funds. Governmental grant we got from the German government is finishing, and uh, so that is a really important point. You can have a car, but if you have no fuel, you can't go anyway. And that is a really a, it's an important element, the resources, because doing something completely new, developing things from scratch, uh, technologies which you can't buy uh, somewhere else, then you need resources. You need the freedom to do the research and you need the resources and ambitious partners to follow you. The message from this Herculean effort to revive northern white rhino populations is as loud as these trumpet calls. The human race is the chief destroyer of Earth's biodiversity and the leading cause of unprecedented loss of wildlife in recent decades. But some of its brightest minds can still repair the damage and take parts of planet Earth back to its erstwhile glory. 
First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.